Hi friends, welcome, if it is the first time with you, subscribe to never miss an upload. In this video, you are going to watch, 10 signs that a woman has not been sexually active. So, watch until the end of video, because many guys, men, girls, and women are making huge mistakes. In fact, nearly one in three women between 18 and 59 complain about a lack of sexual desire. Maybe you've tried to spice up your romance, but nothing seems to work. If this sounds like you, the chances are you have not been sexually active enough. So these signs are Number 1 low desire in sex sexual desire may naturally change over the years the highs and lows are closely correlated with major life changes which can include things such as pregnancy illness and menopause but if your sex drive is abnormally low or the problem persists over time you may want to consult a licensed health professional. This is because you can have some medical condition, such as hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Number 2, No Fun and Friends If you lack a social life, there's a good chance you may be sexually inactive. Perhaps you're a career-driven woman who has suppressed some of those inner desires. It's common for women who don't have a busy social life to have preconceived notions. For instance, maybe you believe sex is wrong, or everyone who socializes is out to hook up. But, this isn't always the case. Number 3 lack of sexual experience most women have a wealth of sexual experience in fact 89 percent of single women are sexually experienced so if you lack those experiences it's reasonable that you feel anxious or stressed about sex although anxiety before sex is normal Sometimes it can be so severe that you can be self-sabotaging. That's right, you may begin to act standoffish or avoid physical escalation with a partner. Also, in more severe cases, you might even avoid making social connections. 6 to 16% of women have sexual anxiety, and in many cases, it's because of their perceived feelings of a lack of sexual experience, which may lead to self-sabotaging for nothing. Feelings of self-consciousness over performance are among top causes of sexual dysfunction. As with anything, it takes practice and comfort with your partner to build sexual chemistry. Number 4 sexual validation sexual validation is a very common sign of sexually inactive women perhaps you've been posting selfies and neurotically checking your social media accounts for likes shares and comments or you flirt with others or post pictures at parties hoping to get someone's attention we're not here to judge it's only human nature to seek validation, and receiving intimacy is part of what makes us human. After all, 36% of women aged 20 to 44 are single. If you don't have a partner to show you love and validation, you may outwardly show it through other means. Number 5. Lack of Sexual Knowledge 70% of women are currently sexually active, having intercourse 7 of the last 12 months. This goes to show that most people around you are sexually active. 
but that's not to say you're the only one. Even if you lack sexual knowledge or experience, there's still 30% that aren't sexually active. Number 6, Hypersensitive Are you someone who feels hypersensitive about sexual topics? Maybe your friends are chatting about their personal experiences in the bedroom, and you feel left out. Women who aren't sexually active may feel uncomfortable discussing sex or become defensive when sex talk comes up. It's not that you're prudish or uninterested, it's just that these discussions can make you feel a bit awkward or self-conscious. Number 7, Everyone's Friend Zoned Unfortunately, Many of us have had bad relationships with others. Feeling like we were emotionally abused or wronged in any way could lead to us lashing out at other potential suitors. Frankly, those people don't deserve that. If you constantly put others in the friend zone, even when you like them, it's a sign of sexual inactivity. Number 8 hyperactive sexting but no real action this is along the same lines as seeking validation are you someone that hyperactive sex to lead guys on only for no real action to happen instead tell them about your hesitations so you can build the trust needed for intimacy number nine Hyperactive sexting but no real action. This is along the same lines as seeking validation. Are you someone that hyperactive sexts to lead guys on, only for no real action to happen? Perhaps you've talked a big game about all the things that will happen, gassing them up. You may even share fantasies and send explicit photos to ignite their desires. But in the end, you've decided to back out, leaving them frustrated. Number 10, No Sex Without Months of Commitment It's okay to take your time and move things slowly until you feel connected or comfortable with sex. But, there's a big difference between waiting until you're ready and simply demanding commitment to avoid sex altogether. Physical intimacy is an important part of building an emotional connection. When you're attracted to someone, your body is naturally aroused. Thank you for watching, subscribe and rise thumbs up if you like video.